getting diaper hats. Mic check, mic check. Five o'clock. It's Tony and Chelsea live every Thursday yes. at five o'clock. We look at your pictures. We cover the latest photo news. We show you whatever gadgets we you have. We give you advanced information about reviews that we're currently performing. We read your comments. So many. We sing karaoke. It's going to be a great show today. Mm -hmm. uh, tell them who sponsors this. Siobhan. <laughs> yes, Siobhan. You got a check to write this week. Yeah. It's not cheap. I hope you got something to sell. Okay, but really though, we have to thank Squarespace for making this show possible. Squarespace is the easiest way to create a beautiful website, blog, or online store for you and your ideas. Squarespace features an elegant interface, beautiful templates, and incredible 24-7 customer support. Try Squarespace at squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code PORTFOLIO if you like to save money and get great stuff. <laughs> if you don't, get out of town. Squarespace, build it beautiful. Seriously, they make your pictures just look awesome, and you don't have to fuss with all the technical stuff. I just put up a picture from our uh, trip to to Portugal? Uh, Portugal this past week, and it literally takes me, you know, thirty seconds to just drop it in, just drag yeah. and drop. If you have a Squarespace portfolio and you want us to review it today, go to sdp.io/link. We'll look at one or two portfolios live. There, uh, today we're looking at your light painting photos. So if you want to send in your photo. Go to sdp.io slash submit and use the password light. 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 We'll check them throughout the show. So yeah, if you tune in midway through, go for it. You might have a chance, but don't bother if it's already finished. Uh, next week. Fashion. Fashion pictures. Yeah. Cool. Next Thursday at 5 o'clock. So we have a blog at northrop.photo. Siobhan runs the blog and we have some great articles there that you'd probably learn from. We have one on photography law is one of our latest ones. There's this one by Eric Lowenbach. It's about uh, like distortion, like vertical distortion in your pictures and how to correct it. We have some very talented photographers teaching you lessons. You should want to know. It's a good blog. There are two ways you can communicate with us during the live show. You can just write a comment and you can chat with everybody else while the show is going on. But Siobhan, our screener and producer and video editor and so many other things, she will parse through your comments and anything that is entertaining to her, she might read it to us. So if just and Siobhan, read them. you can also tweet at hashtag TC live and Justin, our producer, making all the magic happen. No one ever tweets, by the way. Nobody ever uses Twitter. <laughs> oh. Why? I, I don't know. It's it's like once every two weeks or something, but hardly ever. What? You guys. Why? Okay. Well, you could use hashtag TC Live on Instagram. I always suggest a carrier pigeon, and we've never even had one of those. Because I know people are going to comment on it. Chelsea, your camera, the colors are a little bit different because... My camera broke. Or, yeah, and we had to swap in and now a backup camera. I'm we didn't have in time sepia, to do it. apparently. It's all Instagram y. I'm yeah. all old timey. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We just know. Bad stuff happens. It just happens. Bad stuff happens to good people. It's a live broadcast. Uh, I. Did I mention this last week? Mm, yeah, I think you did. No. Oh, all right. Forget it then. Forget it. I did update the buying guide. You can get it at stp.io slash bg. Also, if you have the Photoshop book, uh, I added two more chapters to it. You can check that out at sdp.io slash store if you don't have it, or just go to your owner's page at northrop.photo to get the latest version. Um, should we take a look at some photos or go through our new gear first? Photos. Yeah, let's look at some photos. We'll come back for the gear. We have lots of cool gear. The big D500 picture. here, the 200 to 500. <laughs> uh, uh, wait. Oh. Uh, I have to entertain people, Chelsea, while I try to remember where to... Good photos Sometimes from. Sometimes when we touch, the honesty's too much. Is that what? You got it? I, that's the only, that's all I know of uh, that song. I just couldn't find the right folder. Sorry. Okay. These are our light painting photos. By the way, if you want to get your picture in early, you can tune into Chelsea on Periscope and she'll tell you the password like a few minutes early. Yeah, it's on my Twitter. You know how much you guys love Twitter. <laughs> 
so this is light painting, which is people, you use a long exposure at night, like a 30 second exposure, and then you can run around with flashlights or whatever while the shutter is open and draw interesting <laughs> shapes. It's cool. You can make beautiful art with it, or you can just get goofy with flashlights. <laughs> I knew like that, the, that guy was an elephant right away, but the one on the left it uh, took me a minute. Oh, I think he's he's one of those dinosaurs from Jurassic Park, a velociraptor. What do you think he is? He's a lion. That's why he's like, Rawr. But look at his, the thing behind his head. It clearly is a velociraptor. <laughs> um, okay. I'll, I'll allow it. It seems like it's it's brake lights trailing off into the distance, but I would twenty five second exposure. Tweak it. It is a very pretty picture, just compositionally. I'm going to do a segment where our viewers try to guess what we're going to do to a picture. So we show a picture like this, <laughs> and then we say, "Pretty pretty easy." What do you think they're going to do? Yeah, see how much nicer it is, brightly exposed. I know it's a night shot, but your camera almost always underexposes night shots. You can see some of the stars now. The sky has that beautiful blue color to it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, nice Porsche. Porsche. Oh, right. For our European audience or American snobs. <laughs> it's just type. <laughs> Pick me up. Porsche. The rest of us say Porsche. Does Porsche say, did, did they say Porsche? I, I don't know. I haven't researched this. I was not prepared for this. All right. You do the show. They do, you snobs. do the show, but I or have Europeans. something very important to do on my phone for a minute. <laughs> Okay, but you need to find American Porsche because I know how the Europeans are going to say it. Uh, Correctly. <laughs> uh, very cool picture. Definitely striking. Good work. <laughs> I. This is definitely light painting. I. It doesn't seem to. It's a ghost. Yeah. Mission accomplished. You did it. Light painting is really hard. Like it takes a lot of practice. Yeah, it does. Um. Um, this is some sort of like a, a jellyfishy thing. Cool. Magic moment with celestial beauty and nine nice moon and stars. Yeah, the overall scene is really pretty. Wow. So Ferdinand Portia, the guy who started Portia and who it's named after, pronounced his family name Portia. Mm -hmm. Tony Northrup, who says Porsche, like an animal, is wrong. So that's just the internet. It's right in Wikipedia. Yeah, it's there. It's there. Okay. Uh, some more like kind of headlights, just sort of. I, I wouldn't call that light painting. This is definitely is light this painting. Paul Crane. Does this say Crane? I. That that sounds right to me. Writing in light painting is really difficult it's not too. Easy. You have to write backwards unless you later flip the picture. But um, it's it's just difficult to write in space. You realize the first time you try light painting. I think this one's really cool. I think they should make it their little Facebook header, if that's their name. You can um, see the outline of the light painter in there because sometimes. Well, they're blocking this. The sky is kind of bright and they're blocking it. If you just keep moving, you'll be like a whole section on light painting in chapter 10 of stunning digital photography. The cool uh, scene, though. I just that changed the colors awesome. and just cropped it a little bit because that's what I do. And I like your vision. I like what you did. Yeah. Huh. I don't know about this. Oh, maybe they lit up the foreground. Oh, yeah. It's actually kind of um, harsh. You know what I mean? Like it seems like one, maybe one big flash was popped or it's like the headlights of a car, but the overall scene is absolutely beautiful. So you might actually yeah, it, bring it down just a little. You know, it, yeah, it just feels like a little unnatural. Like this is just very hard. But I like it. I but like I do like light painting in landscapes at night. Wow. 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 A ghost town. Beautiful scene. Look that sign. looks like a set from, uh, a movie. Yeah. yeah. Where is that? I want to go to here. Yeah, it's... It's a ghost town, but they have a sweet car there. Where are you? Absolutely beautiful. I, I can see they Nevada. added some light to it. Nelson, you think it's Nevada? Nevada? Ghost town? Oh, 
Good, good on oh, Justin. Justin. The answer's right there. We keep Justin around because he can read. You know, I'm giving him that one a pick. Me too. Sometimes, especially with night photos, you have that opportunity to add light. And during the day, you would need like a really complex lighting setup with, you know, multiple strobes and wireless triggers. But with a long exposure at night, you can just run around with an $8 flashlight and simulate 20 different light painting. You can do it on no budget because you have time to run around and one light source can be 10. That should be our next book. You just kind of add some contrast and drama to it. I just, you know me, always drop with the drama. Oh. This is cool. Yeah, that's. I'm giving that one a pick right She's away like too. She's like the queen of uh, raves. Look at her little teacup. Pixel stick, maybe. I was wondering that though. It's only, it's only red, blue, and green. There are lots of little yeah. devices that I kind love of have those pose. LEDs. She's got it worked out. Yeah, and this is a great idea of using light painting just to make a silhouette. She did a great job of holding still too. Oh, I revealed well, her. Take a little peek at her. <laughs> Oops. And Chelsea can never resist peeking in. Don't make me sound creepy. Hadouken! <gasps> <laughs> yep, you know that. Uh, I'm just giving that one a pick because it's just fun. That's just really fun. He went all out with the costume and everything. Mm -hmm. Unless he dresses like that all the time. Street Fighter the was my spot. Fate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Who were you? In Virtual Fighter. Who was your man? I don't... I don't remember. Because I... I I just didn't play it enough because we didn't have like a home video game system. I but I played my, it a few I times. I went to my neighbor's arcade. house. Oh. <laughs> Who are you then? Um, either Guile or Kyle. I can't remember. Oh, yeah, Guile. Guile. Yeah. Who are you, Dustin? Oh, I played like constantly. Uh, I like the Indian guy though with the, or I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess Indian is politically correct. <laughs> with the big arms. Oh yeah, he could reach really far. <laughs> yeah, he like, blew fire. Sh yep. Sh that was awesome. I'm giving this five stars if you didn't already because it brought back some sweet memories ryan oh oh that's spooky. awesome it looks like fire i'm so scared yeah i wonder how you did that that turned out really nice uh it's a little maybe pinkish he used though. your light stick your glow stick like you did in your picture yeah maybe he did uh you feel like the color's right i think so i like it it's it's pretty i'm just wondering if it can be a little more fiery well, I, I think it's fiery. Okay, I'm giving them a pick. I, I like it up. too. I would, I would also... Oh, Kyle Wolf. Oh. Um, yeah, so you put steel wool in in something like a, like an egg beater. A whisk. A whisk. And then you tie it to a cord or something, a cable, and you swing it around like that. Um, you start several small fires that will take hours or weeks to burn out, depending on where you are. Um, actually, someone burned down... A boat this way. Yeah. An old boat. It was kind of a shipwreck, but people loved it. It was a focal point for photography, and a guy went out and did light painting and oh, burned down right. the boat. Yeah. You have to be very careful. Be aware if you haven't had rain in your area, you could burn down a whole forest like this. So just be smart. Kyle's in San Francisco, so they haven't had a dry day. Yeah, and he's on rocks next to the water, so I think he's yeah. probably good. But yeah. Kyle's a responsible man. So he is. Take Nicely after done, Kyle. Kyle. Two. Kyle, how? Oh, wait, maybe this is his friend. This is Greg. Yeah, this is Greg Shevlin. <clears throat> uh, that's interesting. Greg and Kyle hung out. Awesome. I'm glad we're like, people are making friends. They chose some, made some different choices there as we look at them. Kyle's is a little warmer. Greg's a little cooler. You just said Greg is cooler than Greg's, Kyle? Greg's... <laughs> you say on this show. I don't know them well enough to pass that judgment, but I would like that job of deciding who is cooler. Just between that's your two job? people. Just yeah. Between Greg and Kyle. The cool judge. <laughs> like I could later grow into handling we other people. We need to do a get together with our viewers and our readers. Yeah. But I feel too but shy. We're introverted. What if they judge me? <laughs> what is this car about? What if they want to talk with you or make eye contact? Today about, I, I get asked to do weddings all the time. I think I've been asked to do like four this year and I, I, I can't. It scares me. Um, I think this is light painting in the background. Yeah, but it's like... So smooth. they're like adding some motion to it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. I, I so wish there was some way to get the wheels spinning, don't you wish? Because that's almost what it's simulating. Hmm. 
Oh, this tiki cup would go great with your coconut monkey. <laughs> I'm a, I think we actually have that cup somewhere. We do. Yeah. Uh, I like the very off balance composition. I think it works. You stuck to a color. That's cool. I can see this printed in like a tiki bar, three versions of it all in different colors. You did something there. What's this? What? It's just like a firework. It's a, oh, a Roman candle. Or this guy's name Why is Roman. Why do we never read? And he just lost his hand. <laughs> I mean, that has so many answers there and we just never read it. Oh yeah, it is a hand. That's cool. <laughs> no, it's, that is not cool. Oh, that's not cool. <laughs> So this is almost abstract. abstract. I don't know what's going on in the the bottom there. Maybe they're in a car, and those oh, yeah. are like street lights going past. I like it. it. It is very I'm cool and creative. Pick. Yeah, I was just about to do that. Whoa! <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. That's cool. That oh, she's got one of those she's like she's a light babe. Yeah, you, you buy them at the. Like, Madeline she just gets moved one. Over her head. She always tries to save it, even though they're dead. Like a few hours later, I she can't let it go. I can't <laughs> believe how sharp her face is, even though she clearly had to. Do a long exposure. She was good holding her head still. That's a skill. So when you find a woman like that, you keep her. For light painting purposes, she can hold her head really still. Okay. That's a rare talent. I. We're gonna move on. That's why I picked you, Chelsea. You're so still. I'm never still. <laughs> every life, every night picture with you is all jiggery, <laughs> jiggly. You look like a a ghost. You need really fast shutter speeds for this one. This one's cool. It's like they were just hanging out on the porch. Yeah, or they were doing parkour. Maybe it looks like they were bouncing off the walls. It looks like this part looks like a pretzel of some sort. It reminds me of that show. What is it like? Carl and the Purple Crayon or something? Mm, no, this doesn't sound right. Oh, a poodle and a poodle and a bear. Um, I. This made it look really almost metallic, the light painting. Yeah, you can you can see that they were moving a light source around and yeah, that's interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that. Oh, love. Yeah, it's like weirdly underexposed. Yeah, and blew that thing out. Love. Nice. Good backwards handwriting. How'd you do it? Oops. I must skip you. That's wow. very spooky. Yeah, that is really freaky. Uh, it's like the ghost came in and messed up the couch. That's a great concept. I'm giving that one a pick. Uh, I love the use of the shadows in there. Deliberate or not deliberate, your ghostly image makes it... It's very scary. Really like fascinating. This is After nice. this, we'll take a look at some news. Go over oh, I was having gear. so much fun. I'm going to we'll give this back. a pick. I like the colors. Yeah, it's, it's creative. It's got a, a good focal point a good subject because light painting you know we've seen some pictures where it's just people with flashlights it still helps to have like a good picture in there and then to use light painting to tell a story or to add an interesting element you know it would have been great if they light painted a chicken <laughs> not like it's a big deal just light paint a chicken <laughs> looks because it looks like a chicken coop oh <laughs> um we actually had what? either a viewer or a reader loan us the Sigma MC11 adapter. This adapter lets you put Canon lenses on Sony bodies. And it's only 250 bucks, which is a good deal because the Metabones adapter that we have is 400 bucks. And a lot of people want to put their Canon lenses on Sony bodies because Sony lenses, the zoom lenses, eh, aren't that aren't as good as the Canon generally. And they're more expensive. Yeah. Um, so we gave it a test today and the test did not go well at all. <laughs> no, it went really bad. Are you going to make a video about it? Yeah, I already recorded the video. I just wanted to give people a heads up. Like if you're thinking of pre-ordering it, not yet. I would not do that. But there's the whole firmware thing. Yeah, they, they have the opportunity to update the firmware. I saw in my inbox that there was an email from Sigma because I contacted them about the problem. So we'll see. But are you allowed to update it? Because it is a viewer's thing, right? Yeah, I guess I'd ask him before. Okay. Thank you, Sid, for, for loaning that to us. 
The Nikon D500 is here. This is one of the, this is probably going to be the biggest camera of the year. The Yay. D500 is Nikon's answer to the 7D Mark II. It is a sports and wildlife camera. That's what it's best at. And so far it has been stellar. It's been fantastic. It's been spot on. And, uh, you know, we just tested the, the Canon ADD for wildlife and I could not recommend it. No. It was workable, but it was overall like less fun. It was a little frustrating. This camera spot on focusing is remarkable. 10 frames a second image quality is fantastic. Uh, so far we highly recommend it. I'm not going to say it's a, it's, it's going to be my choice for landscapes or portraits, but for sports and wildlife, fantastic. And we had a viewer uh, lend us a lens too, the 200 to 500. Yes, Peter Bright. Peter. Thank you, Peter, for oh, loaning that to us. So yeah, no kidding. Sends us a $1,400 lens to borrow. I know. Just because I complained that Nikon wouldn't loan me any gear and it, you know, we want to do a comparison of wildlife gear, but this stuff is really expensive to just be buying. And Nikon isn't cooperating. So thank you for loaning that to us. It's made all the difference in our review of the D500. It's let us get some great images. Um, check out our Instagram and Twitter to see the images from this combination of, of lens and camera. But so far, they both have been working fantastic together. We'll have a full review coming up. You can pick them up at this links down here. And the last piece of gear, nobody is excited about this, but we have it. It's the Canon T6. Canon is new entry-level camera. The whole kit is 550 bucks. Uh, it adds Wi-Fi over the previous generation. It's going to be like people's first camera. So we'll trying to get my mom to get one of these. Yeah, we're trying to. We'll do a comparison of it against other like first cameras that people would buy. Um, so far, it's fine. It's what you would expect. It's lacking some features we'd like, like touchscreen. You think would be important for somebody's first camera, but these days, that. yeah, yeah, because everybody's people first camera is actually their smartphone. Screens. Yeah, and then you tell them that it's their second camera, they have to figure out all these buttons, and um, it's a weird. That's why my mom went to Best Buy and bought a little crummy point and shoot because she wanted it to be easy and she wanted the touch screen and stuff. Mm -hmm. So come on, guys. Got to keep up with my mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, you want to toss it over to Siobhan and see if we have any questions? Well, Siobhan might have some questions for us. So, yeah, let's go over to Siobhan. <laughs> I'm giving her a real she doesn't long, seem real sure. I give her about a really this. long lead in so she can have it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, a relevant question to today's topic. I tried light painting using a multi bulb LED, but it was just weird. Why does the camera not like LED? <laughs> it's, it's not super I had specific. That experience. Um, just weird. Well, a few things go oh, multi bulb LED. So, what they probably saw was instead of one round light source like you would with a conventional flashlight they saw weird little points of light oh. and that's just what happens so that's something to look out for you don't want one of those multi-bob leds you want unless you want multiple points of light yeah but generally it's not like a cool effect it's not good oh. so yeah don't do that okay <laughs> i actually think that's one of the recommendations they make in stunning digital, Our book, photography. Stunning digital photography is it still only 9.99 the ebook Book version certainly is 14 hours of video at sdp.io slash store or Amazon. Check the reviews. Sweet gravy. <laughs> what else you got for us, Siobhan? Uh, what was the best food you had in Portugal? Oh my gosh, the food in Portugal was so good. Um, what were the French Francis Sheena? What are the name of those weird soaked like gravy sandwiches? It's like a sandwich with cheese melted on top two three gravy. sausages inside of it sausage I, that actually i liked it but that wasn't my favorite we got um and then like a gravy but it it was awesome and it was like this local thing that you just don't see i've never seen anywhere else and it really was everywhere it was awesome we had bacalao there that i really oh, liked the bacalao was really good yeah that would probably be my favorite dish the bacalao and then uh they called it something else though i had a tiramisu at this restaurant called book and porto very good you know what's weird about Portuguese is I, I went to like learn some Portuguese before I got there and they write all the words differently. Like the in spelling Portuguese. is different yeah. in Portuguese than Spanish, but then they say it almost exactly like Spanish. <laughs> so I would end up just like speaking Spanish and got along pretty well. You just, it's not the same language, but Portugal. Yeah. 
Uh, let's look I at... just pretended to be mute. Yeah, I think I end up doing most of the talking in <laughs> various foreign countries. I'm less <laughs> embarrassed by not knowing what I'm doing. Uh, Shuja Photography. He or she sent in their portfolio for us to look at. It's clearly hosted on Squarespace. Let's click enter. And uh, first, let's see how I can address Shuja. Well, Shuja, I don't know that I'm saying your name correctly. I now know that you're there, there, <laughs> but uh, I don't actually know if that's your name or if that's a nickname. Oh, here we go. Okay. Shoot is an artist, a professional photographer and an acumen in his profession. And he's in Hong Kong. Um, wow. I didn't actually know we had uh, people watching from like Hong Kong. Me either. That's cool. I didn't even know people were watching. Glad to hear, have you. Let's look at your portfolio. Uh, what do you feel like? People, landscapes. Look at this beautiful design. People. People. I like that shot. Yeah, I really love that portrait. Is that Shuja? It, it might be a selfie. It's like James Dean. Is it just those two pictures? I don't know. It looks like it. Well, let's keep going. Let's keep rolling. Okay. Can't say there are too many pictures in that one. <laughs> no. <laughs> but okay. better landscape to have fewer pictures that are good than clutter it up. Beautiful shot. Yeah, that's beautiful. Free pictures in the landscape section. Good. Cool. Places. Oh, okay. Hong Kong, Macau. I would like to go to Hong Kong. Yeah, I, we have such a long list of places to go. That's a great picture. Yeah, that that is what made me pick this portfolio. Want kind of street photography. <laughs> That's cute. Is it buying a betta fish or a goldfish? Yeah, fish. <laughs> Look at all those fish. Um, great street photography. I love this kind of thing because it gives me a better sense for what other countries are oh, like. That's man. that's a great shot. You said I could sleep anywhere, Tony. <laughs> Um, you can, you've actually been snoozing just while it's just seconds at a time. Um, fantastic shots. You have a lot of good shots in there. You, your portfolio, you still have like, you know, I go through the trouble of clicking people and then I only see two pictures and that gets a little bit confusing. Mm -hmm. So I think I'd recommend just consolidating things into one category until you have enough uh, pictures to really split so it up a little bit. So maybe just one maiden page until you can fill out those categories a bit. Yeah, it's but very navigation heavy right now. I the, like a lot of clicking for to see each picture. I really like the uh, layout that he used. I think it's a beautiful design. And, I want that one. Um, I, I will say going, I, I kind of want this design too. I, I want it now. Squarespace regularly re releases new templates. templates that you can use. And it's really easy to kind of move your portfolio into a new template so you can take advantage of a beautiful design like this. You can also customize it, mm -hmm. change the colors, change the fonts. All the CSS stuff. You know, I've seen people do that, and then I end up not liking it. Because the Squarespace designers got it right the yeah, first time. Yeah, they got it right the first time. They really, they are very good at what they do. Uh, so I might suggest consolidating the pictures a little bit. But um, the other side is maybe he wants to have a full portfolio of people pictures, and he only has two that he likes right now. So maybe it's like a He's placeholder expiring. for himself yeah. personally, and he knows it's waiting, and he just needs to get out there and take some pictures. I, I treat my portfolio like that. Like it's it's a reminder that I need to get better pictures because they're on display. And whenever I'm going out and taking pictures, I'm not thinking, can I get a good picture here? I'm thinking- Can I outdo everything else? Right, can I get a picture that belongs in my portfolio? Can it be one of the best 15 pictures I've taken of my life? Can I get that today? Yeah. And that's always my goal. And, and long-term as a photographer, you're not gonna be remembered for 10,000 photos that you posted on Instagram or Facebook. You're going to remember for one, one or two. Most photographers that we sometimes just one photo that people know, mm -hmm. even Ansel Adams, he can fill up a calendar, but that's about it. He's taken a lot of fantastic pictures, but people know a calendar's worth of photos for him. Yeah. <laughs> so over his, you know, 50 year span of taking pictures, produce these 12 pictures that go into his calendars. And so it is, it's a, a matter of, 
a small number of pictures over a large number of years. And that's kind of what your portfolio is. It's tracking it. It's different from your Instagram. It's different from your Facebook and your Twitter. If you're interested in your own portfolio, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio if you want to get 10% off. And you can also just do it for 14 days for a free trial. You don't need a credit card or anything. Once that trial has expired, you can decide if you want to leave it or buy it. Thanks for hosting a Squarespace. I'll import some more pictures that just came in. Maybe Siobhan has some questions. I have something to say to you about Squarespace. What? Oh. Somebody told us that the coupon code portfolio doesn't work anymore. The coupon code that works is Tony. What? What? Oh, that's not right. I'll I'll follow up with Squarespace. Sorry about that. That's weird. Thanks yeah. for letting us know. There must because... be a problem with them. Yeah. The coupon code Tony could be something completely different. <laughs> Yeah. Like we don't get paid for it. It just kind of like lets them know. It tracks how many of you get a portfolio using that coupon codes that they know this show is worth sponsoring. Yeah. That's a problem. Thanks for letting us know. Uh, so this is interesting. I feel like they had this kind of cool cave here and they, uh, maybe they illuminated this, this corner here with a flashlight to kind of draw the eye through the cave. There's like, Heavy leading lines here, yeah. but not really any payoff. I just wish there were like something at the I, end. I like, like it. A silhouetted shape in the opening back there would be cool. What kind of like a suggestion? square? Like a person? Like a rectangle? <laughs> Maybe like a human shape with like arms and legs and stuff. <laughs> Star. Um, this is cool. It's almost, it almost looks like a flower bed to me. People say that stuff won't come in handy as an adult, but Chelsea just proved you wrong. <laughs> Geometry teacher teachers worldwide are rejoicing right now. Rhombus. <laughs> Is that the one that's like this? That's a trapezoid, you oh, noob. <laughs> what's a rhombus? It doesn't come up in my daily life. I'm sorry, geometry teacher. <laughs> All right. Let's move on from that. <laughs> um... I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is it like a string of Christmas lights that are being swung? This is what you see when you die. Um, yeah, it might be Christmas lights. <laughs> this is what you see when you die. Uh, Space Invader. This has got to be a pixie stick, right? Yeah. A pixel stick? A pixie stick. A pixie stick. Would you rather have a pixel stick or a pixie stick the size of a pixel stick? Go. Pixel stick. I'm not really into sugar. I like pure, unadulterated sugar. This is kind of cool. Yeah, it is. They they picked this kind of cool spot with that cool it's F-22 or something. All right. Thank you. <gasps> she blinded me with science. That's what this reminds me of. Yeah, that's Aww. super cool. Okay, I'm giving that one a pick. That's just beautiful. Okay. I don't okay. even know how you did that exactly. Maybe it's a series of mirrors. I think it's an illusion. I'm giving it five stars because I'm confused and disoriented. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. You know what? As you brightened it, I could better see that the tree was actually blooming, and the tree is really pretty. But yeah, that's why I'm we're kind of this... missing that element. We need to do this. Yeah. You don't have to have like super dark skies and stuff just because it's night photography. Brighten everything up. Um, one tip with light painting is the light, the slower you move, the brighter the light source will be. So a lot of what you're doing is balancing the exposure of the light source versus the ambient exposure. And here the light source is, is super bright, so bright that it's way brighter than everything else. You could fix that by using a lower ISO and a longer shutter speed to let more ambient light in, or by moving the light source faster. So you just have to learn it. Like your hand just has to learn, if I move this slow, it's going to be this bright. If I move faster, it's going to be lighter or dimmer. Uh, it looks Smoke. like we've got some more smoky. Uh, okay, I think it's cool. I, I think like it's cool. The graffiti, the colors are cool. Um, what is even 
I do find it distracting that they miss focus. It's you have to get somebody to stand where the light is going to be because obviously you can't focus on light that's not really there. So you get somebody to stand there, you focus it, you leave the camera in manual, then you go do what you do. It's abstract. It's cool. Which is run around. It's cool. Wow. That's this, really beautiful with the reflection. This reminds me of a whirling that dervish. A I'm gonna give this five stars. Someone, yeah. Someone I, got a pixel stick. LED saber, they call it. Oh. Great job. Really pretty. I like the sparklers. They like yeah, and I like the toning on the shot. Yeah. I like the kind of head there. Mm hmm Like a silhouette. I like it. Oh. Minimalist. <laughs> it is minimalist. Yeah. Okay. That's Bring cool. That up. Let's give see me a peek. Some more. Give me a peek of what's going on. Oh. That's really cool. A lot of what we're seeing here is the light reflected off the surface, I think. Ended up really sweet. Ended up super sweet. Ghost daffodils. Chelsea's making some adjustments to the color. I'm just playing. I just like to just touch stuff. You did it. I like it. Whoa. Oh. I got to give this one a pick. Holy. Wow. Wow. Fire rope or rope, though? What is fire rope? And where can I get some? Yeah. Justin, do you know about fire rope? Justin? No, no. We need to do a review on one, though. <laughs> yeah. I, I got to get some of this in. Awesome car, too. This is like, I gave this one a pick right away. It's like the best car shot I've ever seen. This is totally badass. Wow. You got the, they like wet the concrete to get that awesome reflection out of it. And how do we? Oh, holy cow! With the fire, I need more fire. Oh, wow. wow! Spectacular shot of the month, something like that. <laughs> That's fantastic. You won. You won light painting. They did. I even have a hard time calling that light painting. This is a this maybe is it doesn't even qualify, but it's awesome. Fire. I want that. Sorry to everybody else who doesn't have fire rope. <laughs> it's kind of, it's just like really tough to follow that, right? Yeah. Like your opening act was way too good. <laughs> I know. This is, a, this is a cool shot too, but you know, it could, could really use some, use some fire, fire rope. rope. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I, I mean, that's cool. It's just, there's no, it's like no fire rope. Yeah. Maybe an explosion in the background. Yeah. No, but I like that they have a, a deep blue in contrast with the white on the bike. Cool. Yeah, it's especially good for cars and stuff because you can, you know, you don't have to simulate. You can simulate many different light sources and paint over the different mm -hmm. creases and really kind of bring out the metallic texture by taking your time with a single flashlight or something. This is a fire as well. Yeah. But it's no fire rope. No. It's still cool, though. That's a light paint with the moon. Hmm. Okay, I think that you're stretching it. <laughs> it's not really it, how that works, and but you know it, it is a beautiful it. shot. Maybe he light painted the entire Grand Canyon. Uh, that's a cool shot. I like how uh, kind of blown out it is. Mm -hmm. Give it a pick. Reminds me of bowling. That's uh, could use some context or something, but I it's like cool. it as an abstract. It is abstract. We got some more. Uh, uh, fire steel starters. wolves, <laughs> fire starters. It looks like he's on some pavement. Uh, I still would bet that they did some scrambling around in the backyard to stomp out. Yeah. <laughs> some stray sparks. I can't really talk because I lit a smoke bomb in the house today for a video. Mm -hmm. And sparklers inside the house. Sparklers are definitely an outside firework. <laughs> the things we do for photography videos. Our house smells now. Uh, I'm giving this great. one a pick. Yeah, yeah. I can see that Five. they illuminated the rocks in the foreground and they probably would have just been silhouetted otherwise. It's beautiful. beautiful. Um, hmm? I was just thinking, is that ISO 3200? That noise is kind of apparent. Uh, maybe, like, clearly they needed that exposure, but maybe with, you could get a faster lens, like a uh, Rokinon makes a 24 millimeter F14 that would have let you shoot at like oh, ISO 800 or something. Get a little cleaner image. Nicely done. Did this person get on? <laughs> I'm not really 
Neat. Light like painting, long exposure from a car. It's cool. It's neat. This is neat. What is that? I'm scared. Uh, I don't know. Whatever robot was holding it. Cool. Okay. Long exposure of not light painting. It's kinda a long is. exposure at kinda night. Is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, you know what? Real estate is another great place to like use light painting in a practical way because you can um, illuminate the house with a flashlight and get just really nice lighting, bring out the parts of the house you want to accentuate and make interesting lighting at night. Well, again, without requiring lots of different light sources, giving that one a pick What's... for reminding me of practical applications. I want to move there. So they're inside a tunnel here, but we almost can't make out the tunnel. But yeah, some adjustments to the exposure might be able to help with that. Uh, you wanna has any questions see if Siobhan has anything? Then we can do some chit chat. Like a little... What do you have, Siobhan? Siobhan. Is the Sony A7S reliable? Have you ever had issues with it overheating? I've heard horror stories of the A7R2. No, the A7S is never overheated, but it does its recording externally to like a Shogun if you're recording in 4K. Um, we haven't used the A7S II long term, but it, we didn't manage to make it overheat. But the A7R2 hasn't overheated for us recently, right, Justin? No, no, I think it's I, I, not that I can recall. I think it's pretty solid. Yeah, um, the A6300 completely wrecked a shoot we had last week, and I don't think we'll ever film with it again. I was so mad about it. It wrecked two shoots, actually, because it just overheated and screwed us up for the whole day. But the A7S, fine. What else do you have, Siobhan? Uh, I had someone on Twitter tell us about that um, bad light painting question with LEDs. He says that cheaper LEDs use PWM to regulate the light output, so it's blinking on and off really fast. Oh, oh. I have never seen that. Our viewers have a lot of answers to the tough questions, I had to say. Didn't know that. Thanks for contributing. And he was also on Twitter. It's a miracle. <laughs> yeah. Somebody had a useful useful feedback, and they were on Twitter. Who knew? You, you want to take a look at Chit Chat? Chit Chat. So this new this graphic is awesome. Little graphic for chit chat. One of our viewers made this. Um, Prince Amir. Amir. What's his name, Siobhan? Muhammad Amir. Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Elias Amir. Something. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Something. What? Oh. Did you want to talk about this further? No. It looks great. We. I like it. He said he's going to make one for each of us. Uh, Derek Cooksey was just sitting in some polycom training <laughs> at, his, <laughs> at his business job, presumably. And this popped up in like their training manual. That's me. That's me. I took that. You took that in our garage <laughs> like seven years our ago, first probably. studio. Yeah. yeah. Our garage with a white paper backdrop. I'm just being like business guy, <laughs> generic business guy. And there yeah. it is in a polycom video. Many years later. Oh, That's cool, funny. Cool, cool, Yeah, I'm pretty famous. Speaking of being famous. Our friend Phil says, I smell an Oscar or best performance by a photo geek about your drone video. Tony did some pretty sweet acting if you guys want to check it out. <laughs> it was, that was controversial. Duh. Not everybody felt like that was great acting. That was the best acting I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, you totally believed it? Yes. Yeah, well, I get really deep in character. I noticed that about you. Yeah. I've seen every Philip Seymour Hoffman movie, and you make him look ridiculous. I know, right? That guy <laughs> doesn't deserve to be in the industry with me. I thought... Here, you read it. Uh, <laughs> I'm setting you up to mess up his name again, because I'm evil. I thought the Andre Agassi clip was a joke. I always remember him as being bald. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Agassi in that. You were... Yeah. Yeah. Bald, uh, look how much hair he has. It never ends. Uh, I I didn't find confirmation of this. This is what he looks like now. But there's still follicles. Yeah. I, this is There's a Seinfeld episode about this, but I feel like he... 
is bald and also shaves his head. Um, my, look at that guy's neck hair in that. No, but he has like a very beautiful mane that flows all the way down his body. But tell me if I'm wrong, but I seem to remember that there was controversy because they discovered that he was wearing a wig this whole time, or at least for a big part of it, because he was famous for his hair. And, you know, that headband would be perfect for hiding a wig line. I really don't think that's a wig because the thickness of his eyebrows is blowing my mind. Those are wonderful. <laughs> yeah, he he does have a full... I'm just going to Google it real quick because we just need to know. The world needs to know. Uh, the controversies of a tennis star from the 80s. Oh, uh, look. According to DailyMail.co.uk, the headline, because I'm not going to read the whole thing... Basically, scientific. Andre Agassi admits, I wore a wig. Agassi. <laughs> he wore a wig to hide his baldness during the 1990s. So there you have it. We uncovered something huge here, Chelsea. <laughs> I want a wig so I don't have to do my hair for the show anymore. If you want to hear our podcast, scp.io slash podcast. We have about 10 minutes left because we got to leave on time today. So let's Wait, take a look at a few. Front. What? Fire rope. Did you find something about fire rope? Yeah, it's crazy, crazy dangerous. But you're literally like taking a a rope and dipping it in gas, soak it for like five minutes, and you just leave your exposure open for 30 seconds and walk around with this flaming rope. Um, How have I never heard of this? This sounds so awesome. (laughs) Yeah, if you Google fire rope photography... Then there's tutorials, but there's just like warnings all over them. Like, I need fire rope. Fire rope. Okay, I sense a tutorial coming up and it's going to be awesome and probably <laughs> lethal. Oh, fire rope nunchucks. Oh my God, fire rope nunchucks. Yes. Okay, we're doing this, guys. Fire rope bra. Sleep on that one. Uh, more pictures. This is so beautiful. This is, is beautiful. For real? Um, but stp.io slash top tip. You got to get some blacks and some whites in there. It's called diversity. Wash out. Read about it. There we go. How they can... Yeah, are they like... They're fighting to the death with fire rope. I want that for my birthday, please. Fight! You want a rope soaked in gasoline? <laughs> Happy I'm just, birthday! I'm merely a lady, okay? Uh, this is very cool. I feel like they use light painting to just make a portrait more interesting. Okay. Um, it can actually be really difficult to kind of get that nice smooth arc with light painting. What are you doing with black and white? I don't know. I just don't feel like a rainbow is <laughs> appropriate here. But maybe it is. Maybe I know nothing. Let's, let's give it a pick. Nice pick and done. Um, people like caves or tunnels for it's for in, the uh, steel yeah. wall. Maybe because it, it just contains back. it. And, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> wow. Oh. This is terrifying. I, I hope they stop this terrible monster. You have to go black and white, right? Oh, yeah. And then you have to add the to. noise. Where's the noise? I never add noise. I don't know. I feel like they did good color. But um, yeah, somewhere down here, there's effects. Grain. Okay. Big chunky grain. And then it's like an old movie. I think it's actually passable as a still from like one of the Japanese Godzilla movies. Where are you? (laughs) Who are you? (laughs) Nicely done. That's fun. That is fun. Oh, that's cool. It's like that abstract art video mm-hmm. that you did where you move your camera around. Nicely done. You're going to raise the shadows, aren't you? And see what's happening. I just want to see what's going on. Okay. Nothing. Nothing much. I'm so nosy. One of oh, these days, party, people are going to figure out to hide funny things in the shadows. Oh. And then you'll raise the shadows, and there's going to be something bizarre in the shadows. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is just beautiful. This is just beautiful and nothing else. (laughs) Don't make that an insult. I'm giving that one a pick. (laughs) Fantastic. I've never seen anything like that. I love the way you silhouetted the shapes. Nicely done. I like this. (laughs) Yeah, that's cool. The fire got a little blown out. Maybe I'll recover the highlights on the raw file. Um, 
that's fantastic. We do need to make sure we have some whites in there. It doesn't have to be white. It can be red, but it needs to be fully illuminated. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Cool. Beautiful. This is Even very though I'm going to pick two. Pick out erase those stray things. How'd you do that? That is cool. Cool, cool. It's abstract. This guy's light painting. Yeah. So American. I love it. <laughs> I just, I laugh because I, um, my brain immediately <laughs> concluded that she was the one waving the <laughs> light painting tools around. Neography. Like, like photography. You are in a real cave person. That's cool. That is, I give that one a pick too. I love like, it looks like a waveform. Awesome. Dang. Steel wool and, and enclosure. Nicely done. Definitely more interesting than without it. All right, we just went brothers. full like lightsaber battle here. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah, that is cool. Little kids love that. Whoa. Wow. That's gorgeous. Wow, I'm giving wow, that one wow, a pick wow. too. Do you feel like it's too yellow? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure they did it deliberately, and I'm not even sure I can. Let's try this. Um, My ears. Yeah, I, I don't actually know how to fix that, but maybe it didn't Wait. need it. It was cool to begin with. Um, gorgeous shot. I really like that one. I don't know if I picked it, but I will. We always do that. Us. Am I right? Um, I almost wish you could see a before and after here because I know that before the car would have been just very flat. But the light painting is responsible for all that texture yeah. that you see there. So nicely done. Great you job. Great example job. of when to use light painting. Uh, this looks like a helicopter or something. An airplane was flying through. So unless you were in the airplane and doing it deliberately, I have a hard time counting it as light Where painting. I like it. Um. And this is definitely light painting, but I, it, I don't know what story it's telling. This, it's a ghost story. Yeah, it's it's you I know like it. somebody's experimenting with light painting for the first time. After Pick. this, the next step is you know making a story out of it, having help having it help the photo, what? integrating into the composition and the storytelling. Uh, yeah, it seems like there's something underneath those. What are those like rolling papers? No, it's striking a match. Oh, oh. oh, that's cool. Why would you think it was rolling papers? <laughs> Tony, oh, sorry. Oh. <gasps> Tony, first you call that rolling papers, then this. We saw that. Oh, oh, I, I thought I saw that, but it's just similar. I like it. Yeah, I, I like it. I just don't know that it's light painting. That well, they're is painting really cool. the inside of the tent. Maybe, maybe they just had lights in there. That's what I'm saying. Was it deliberate? I don't you know. trust no one. <laughs> Look at this one-legged lady. <laughs> cool. I like that. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. We only have a few minutes left, so I'm in rapid uh, mode. What's oh. their name? Belling. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on with this? <laughs> Obviously, that horse is in a... Um... A uh, baby stroller. Okay, I'm giving you a pick. I don't know what you're doing there, sir, but I love it. All right, I love giving kids fire. Kids don't have enough fire these days, if no. you ask me. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Ohio! Ohio. <laughs> I like that he's not that thrilled about this. He's like, this place is It says okay. it's happy, but he's just... Mm. Mm. I like that better than happy face, though. Indifferent face. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Like every kid that visited that castle. <laughs> Kids like castles, Tony. Okay, that's a street man. Oh, that's is that a going to have painting or a drawing, or uh, very like cool. It. I don't know what happened. But How I'm much scared. more do we have? Call the police. Oh, that was the last photo. Good timing because it's 5.57. We did it. Let's toss it back to Siobhan real quick and see what else we got. And then we'll get out of here. Siobhan, tell us. <laughs> what? All right. I keep leaning out of camera frame. All right. Art inspires art. Do you get inspired by music? Heck yeah. Mm. I can't. I, I love music. I listen to it all the time, but I can't say it. 
does anything for my photography. I will say music videos. I often get inspiration for photographs and music videos. Music videos, but music as well, because sometimes the theme of a music can stir a feeling or a thought in me, and then I want to convey it in my art, which is photography. Good point. If you start from a conceptual place. Mm -hmm. What else, Shablond? Question actually applies to anyone but the person who asked it. But he says, what is the connection between programmers and bird photographers? He is one, and you kind of are one too, Tony. Uh, <laughs> just I, nerds. Nerd stuff, yeah, probably. Just nerd stuff, probably, yeah. <laughs> if I had to guess. I totally get it. They're, they require very similar personality types. Because programming, one of the reasons it got out of programming is it involves, like, 80 hours of sitting quietly at a computer and never talking to anybody, just like deep, intense concentration for long periods of time. That's what makes a good programmer. And that's the same thing that makes a good wildlife photographer, just long periods of concentration. It's also actually a pretty technical type of photography. You can get artistic with it, but you're, you're generally not like planning things out. I actually like make little sets for the birds and stuff that I photograph, but most people just, find a spot and wait for the birds to show up and take pictures of them. So I get it. I get it. Don't you feel like a lot of left brain people are into bird photography? I don't believe in that brain stuff. I meant it more like metaphorically. I don't mean literally. <laughs> I don't believe in that either. One last question before we check out, Siobhan? <laughs> um... Uh, these questions are boring. What is your experience with vintage lenses? Are they a viable option for videography? Uh, I just feel like for videography. What? Every everybody who asked a question, like mm. a little tear rolled down their mm -hmm. cheek. Oh, I failed. <laughs> Poor Javon. Uh, sure. I've never tried it. No, we haven't really tried it, but we do use some alternative lenses like like the Rokinon F095 mm -hmm. is not a conventional lens it's not sharp and what we like about it is is that it brings some extra quality to it so a lot of video is establishing some sort of mood and sharpness doesn't matter as much and those vintage lenses they can be hazy they can be unsharp they might have weird bouquet and stuff but anything that kind of adds visual interest to the image can help so if it's you know if that is consistent with the mood of what you're shooting go for it you go for it. You want to get out of here? Squarespace, thank you for hosting our, for sponsoring our show. If you would like your own Squarespace portfolio, go to squarespace.com slash Tony and use the coupon code portfolio and we'll get that working. <laughs> I don't know why I'd stop. Uh, thanks. We have adult kickball to go play. <laughs> so we'll see you next Thursday at five o'clock. We will look at your fashion photos. Bye guys. He's definitely going to start a fire. broke the studio. Bye, Siobhan. That is like all. a David Letterman thing where he throws the pencils at the camera. It didn't work.